G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who doesn't love a good bake recipe? You put it all together, stick it in the oven, and those flavors just infuse. So join me today as I make my version of a lamb and eggplant bake. Now we're gonna start this recipe off by browning the meat. So I have a fry pan on the stove on a medium to high heat. So just give it a quick drizzle, just with a little bit of olive oil. And to that, I'm going to place on 800 grams of lean minced lamb, also called ground lamb. So we're just going to break this all up. Keep on breaking it up and we're just going to cook it over this medium to high heat until all the meat is completely browned. Now once we've browned the meat, we're just going to cover it up and we're going to take it off the heat while we get started on the rest of the vegetables. Okay, next I've got a pot on the stove and it's still on a medium to high heat. So just drizzle on a little bit more olive oil. Then we're going to place in one chopped up onion. And just keep stir frying the onion just for a couple of minutes just until they soften up. Okay, now the onions are softened up, we're going to add in a couple of cloves of crushed up garlic, then two chopped up zucchinis, one chopped up eggplant. You can cut it up as fine or as thick as you want, it's really up to you. And then one can of diced tomatoes. Just pour that over top. So I'm going to turn it down to a medium to low, and just give it a good mix through. And we're going to cook it over a medium to low heat for about five minutes, just to help soften everything up. Okay, so the vegetables have been simmering away for about five minutes. They're nice and soft. So now we're going to return our meat back to the pot. And to that we're going to add in another can of diced tomatoes, about a tablespoon of tomato paste, about two tablespoons of parsley, and about a tablespoon of oregano. So I'm going to keep it on a medium to low heat. Just going to give it all a very good mix in until it's well combined. Okay, now that it's well combined, we're going to cover it up and let it simmer away for about 25 minutes. Okay, next I've brought a pot of water up to the boil. So to that we're just going to add in 80 grams of basmati rice. Now generally, basmati rice takes about 25 minutes to cook, which is just perfect because it means they'll both be ready at the same time. Okay, so everything is nicely cooked. So we're just going to place our basmati rice into our pot and just stir it all in until it's nicely combined. Now it's been 25 minutes, so the last thing we're going to make up is our yogurt topping. So in a bowl here, I have about 400 grams of Greek style yogurt, but any non-fat yogurt will do. To that I'm going to add in one egg, and I'm just going to season it with some black pepper. So we're just going to simply whisk it through until everything is well combined. Now I have a baking dish, so all we have to do is simply spoon our meat mixture into the baking dish. And then we're just going to drizzle our yogurt mixture on top. Okay, so now we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Now it's out of the oven and it smells absolutely delicious. Now I've just added a little more fresh parsley just on top, just to top it off. And it is ready and it is going to be fantastic. So as long as you use the lean version of this meat, it is a very healthy dinner dish to make. But when you mix all those lovely flavors into a healthy dish like this, you know it's going to taste simply delish. So this meal will easily serve four people by itself or six people with sides. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.